Now we are going to study, understand the concept of the expanded form of a number. Write the expanded form of the following numbers. Our first number is 998. Now expanded form we have to write. Expanded form means in the given number how many hundreds are there, how many tens are there, how many units are there that you have to show. Now in this number 998 means 9 hundreds, 9 tens and 8 units. So what we have to do? We have to write how many hundreds are there. Here nine hundreds are there. So nine hundreds are you have to show your nine hundreds. You have to write nine hundreds. After that you have to put the plus sign. How many tens are there? Nine tens are there. Nine tens means ninety. So you have to write your ninety. How many units are there? 8. So before writing 8, you have to put the you have to put the plus sign and then write 8. 998. Let us take, let us take second number. Our second number is 287 How many hundreds are there? 2 How many tens are there? 8 How many units are there? 7 That means in 287 2 hundreds are there 8 tens are there 8 tens means how much? 8 tens means 80 and how many units are there? 7 are there. So you have to write the 7 287. You have to write plus sign between these numbers otherwise it will be wrong. Next one we will see now. Our next number is 500 30 534 okay so 534 500 so what we have to do first you have to write the 500 how many tens 3 tens are there so then 3 tens means 3 tens means how much? 3 tens means 30. How many units are there? 4 are there. First you will write plus sign and you will show the 4. So 534 means 500, 30 and 4. See our next number. Our next number is 90. 90 means what? 90 means in this hundreds are there. 9 tens are there. So what you will show? 9 tens. Okay. Then how many units are there? Units are 0. So you have to write 0. 90 means 9 tens 90 plus 0. You have, to, you have to show the unit place also. Tens place and unit place. You had separated the places and you had shown. Now our next number is 34. 34 means in this how many tens are there? 3 tens are there. 
थ्री टेंस थ्री टेंस मीन्स वॉट थ्री टेंस मीन्स थर्टी हाउ मेनी यूनिट्स आर देर फोर आर देर सो यू हेव टू पुट द प्लस साइन एंड यू हेव टू शो फोर यू हेव टू राइट फोर थर्टी एंड फोर थर्टी फोर Our next number is. See the number and try to read the number. Our next number is three hundred and one. What is the number? Three hundred and one. Three hundred and one means how many hundreds? Three hundreds. So you have to write three hundred. How many tens are there? Tens are. Here zero is the tens are not given here zero number given so you have to write the zero you can write one zero also or you can write two zeros also both are correct and here how many units are there one is there so one you have to write so three hundred and one three hundred and one. Now let us see the next number. Our next number is seventy-six. Seventy-six means how many tens? Seven tens. Seven tens means what? Seven tens means seventy. Units are there, so you have to write the plus sign. How many units are there? Seven units. Ah, uh, six units are there, so you have to write here six. Seventy six. While reading only, you'll come to know. Seventy six. Our next number is forty five. Forty five means forty five. How many tens are there? Four tens are there. Four tens means forty. How many units are there? Five are there. First, you have to write plus sign, and then. Five you have to write. If you read like this, forty-five, forty-five. Hello, students. Now we we'll, uh, now we are going to learn how to make a number, how to write a number from its expanded form. Now let us see the given expanded form. Is seven hundred zero tens and five units. You have to make the number very easy. So you have to read. If you read, you can write. Can write the correct number. Seven hundred and five. Seven hundred and five. Seven hundreds, zero tens, and five units. See the number two hundred one ten. This ten is given. One is given. So you have to write the correct number. So you know here two hundred are there, one ten is there, and one is there. Always keep in mind when you read the numbers, always read tens number and unit number together. You know that ten plus one is eleven. So you read like this: two hundred and eleven, two hundreds, one tens. One unit. See the next number. So easy. How many tens are there? Three tens. How many units? Nine units. And now read the number. Thirty nine, three tens, and nine units.
see read the number 44 units so 44 44 4 tens 4 units Four hundreds sixty and seven. That means four hundreds are given, six tens are given, and seven units are given. I had told you I given the technique. I told you to use a technique. Read this number four hundred and these two number try to read together. Four hundred and sixty seven and write the number. Four hundreds, six tens, and seven units. See the number. Expanded num number is given. Now you have to write the number. Three hundreds, zero tens. 6 units. So read the number 306. 306. 300, 0 tens and 6 units. Eight hundreds. How many tens? Zero tens. How many units? Zero units. So you will read only this one, this only, because here zeros are there. Eight hundred. Eight hundreds. Tens are zero. Units are zero. Whenever tens place and unit place is zero, you have to write only hundreds. Only hundreds you have to write like this, and you have to put zero at the tens place and units place. Our next number C. What is given? One hundred. Then fifty is given. Then. 0 is given so read 150 and 0 units so I told you first you read this one 150 150 100 5 tens 0 units 